What's up? <laughs> so I heard a little bit of when I, when I stop on the brakes. When it does that, that means the brakes are starting to get low. It's not scraping yet. The scraping would be the next stage, which would be <laughs> and then the last stage would be when the pad wears out all the way to where it's grinding into the rotor. <laughs> and when you hear that, that means it's grinding into the rotor and it'll mess up your rotor. Then you'll have to replace brake pads and rotors. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm replacing the brake pads <clears throat> before it even gets to any of those stages just so I don't have to worry about it because it, it's about to start snowing pretty soon. So I don't want to be out here in the snow doing my brakes. But yeah, I do it myself. Next is you want to make sure you got it jacked up under something that's secure enough to hold it like this. That's all solid so that can lift my car. I won't have to worry about anything under here breaking. And then you just want to pop this off. This just pops off. <coughs> Loosen it up on all the ends. Pop it off. Um, get your little nub lub tool and, or star tool and just... Go ahead and loosen up the nubs, not all the way, just loosen them a little bit until you get the, the tire off the ground. Alright, so the tire is now off the ground. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and loosen up these nubs all the way. <clears throat> when it's off the ground, that makes sure that I can put it back, put the tire back on without any problems. Now that I loosened it, I can just spin it. it comes off real easy. You got the idea. All right, five bolts. <clears throat> Tire slides right off. Let's take a look here. Now, <clears throat> I can see where these brake pads were starting to get a bit low. So there's a little bit of scratched on the rotor but the rotor is still good because it hasn't grinded into it there's two nubs on the back one up top one on the bottom and I'll just loosen those nubs off I'll start with the bottom one because usually on some cars you can actually loosen up the bottom nub and slide the rotor upward and be able to get to the brake pads that way without having to take off both nubs but on some cars you do have to take off both nubs and which is not a problem at all once you do that then right here in between here you can prime the um, <coughs> caliber back in to get the, the caliber see this little hole right here you can put um, this in there pull it forward and that'll push the caliber back in so that the brake pads can slide back on. Another thing to do is to loosen up the, um, actually to take the brake cap off, the brake fluid cap, so that when you're priming the brakes, you can get out any access air and bleed your brakes properly. Okay, <clears throat> so I got the bottom bolt off. came off real easy see that's the bottom bolt right here came from here so on this car once I got the bottom bolt off I was able to not take the top bolt have to take the top bolt off I could just slide the caliber all the way up and there's the brake pads you can see they are worn it's time for new ones I caught it right on time and you can see a little better now that the caliber bolt ones right here ones right there you might have to take both of those bolts off on your car depending on some makes of, of models and, and cars but for mine I was just able to take the bottom bolt off only and slide the caliber upward so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the new brake pads on there push the caliber 
back in and uh, <clears throat> they do have a tool for that where you can I forget what the tool is called because I'm not good with names sometimes but there's a little tool that you can prime that caliber back in with but if you don't have that you can also just push it in by using this little space it has back there putting the caliber back down and just turning this forward that'll push it right back in to where you can slide the new pad in there all right so here's the new pad looks slightly slightly different on the padding just because of the grade but it will work the same they're the same size you know you just go up to the auto store tell them you need brake pads for whatever year and make your car is and you just match them up so it's going to look the same this right here that right there if it doesn't look the same then you you will have to uh put the other one on the other side that means it goes to the right instead of the left and here's the back of the the back brake of the um left side and the driver for the driver's side and you can see that one was also worn look how low that is see how low that pad is nothing there and this one it's gonna be nice once I put it on so what I'll do <coughs> they'll ask you usually when you're at the store they'll ask you do you want brake grease tell them yes what you'll do with that is you'll put some brake grease on the back of the uh, of the brake pad 